Something I'd like to point out about my processor is it's the only one on the market that has a fractionator system. What that does is it super blends the fuel and speeds up the processing time. The other machines out there, as I mentioned, take 24 hours. Mine just takes a couple hours because of this fractionator system. All my panels are UL approved. Even the fractionator has a static electricity diffuser on it to remove any spark chance of spark. All my valves, electric valves, are explosion proof. You know, we look at all safety factors of it. The way the tanks are designed and the circulation system inside, but it's blending the methanol in line, the fumes it puts off are deadly. If you suck your face in and inhale, you would have harmful effects. The way mine's designed is it draws some fumes internally, and they blend right into here. They slowly dissipate out, so they're a non-hazard to you if you keep your face out of the tank. When I give demonstrations at colleges and universities, I usually have one running right beside me. It runs on 110, and simple to operate. Any heat associated with the process? There's a heater built into the system and it's controlled on a thermal coupler, so when it reaches the proper temperature, it automatically shuts it off. It builds up in the tank, in the lines, in the filter housings, and in your pumps. When you start running biofuel, it acts as solvent. It cleans that residual out. The first few tanks you run through, I recommend changing your fuel filter. Your fuel filter. When you change the filter, you're getting rid of that stuff that was collected, now being cleaned out. After three, four or more tanks, do it again. After that, go back to your regular filter maintenance. If you don't do that, you're going to plug the filter, and then you're stuck. You know, it's easy enough to change the filter when you break down, but who wants to? But that's very important to know is that you will clean out your fuel so system. So it's solvent, clean. It's, yes. Interesting. If, you, if you work on an automobile to get your hands dirty, if you wash your hands with Shortening, vegetable shortening, it's great grease remover. This will do the same thing. It'll clean your hands. Well, there's been somebody in the back that keeps wanting to throw something in. I don't know what do we do. Come on up. <laughs> right. Say your name. My name is Krisha Kripchenny. And um, I live in the county, not in the town of Friday Harbor. And for the past three years, I've been running my vehicle on recycled biofuel. And I had a couple of questions for Paul that I think might clear things up for everyone. Go ahead. Um, so I've investigated doing doing a setup like this on privately on the island and sharing the fuel with some of my friends because this is what we already are running our cars on. I will I will vouch for everything that Paul has said for the most part. It's true. Um, your engine is much cleaner. I didn't have to change the fuel filters that frequently when I started using it, um, but maybe it's a smaller rig, so it wasn't so much of an effect. But I, I run a 2000 VW Beetle. Um, it smells great. It gets great gas mileage. There, there's so many benefits to it. Um, not the least of which is that I smile every time I drive down the road knowing that I paid next to nothing for fuel, <laughs> and that I'm, I'm spewing less than half of the, the emissions that regular diesel fuel would, would involve. Um, one question I have for you, Paul, is have you checked out, when I was looking into doing this on the island, right now a lot of the food vendors are using hydrogenated oils. And is your, is your system prepared to work with hydrogenated oils? Yes, it is. That's really interesting. Even through the winter months. Because one of the troubles that you have with bio is oftentimes that they solidify in colder weather. So how does your system handle that? It'll, biofuel as a rule will solidify 10 to 12 degrees above the temperature of the diesel oil. Right. What I use is a fuel conditioner. Mm -hmm. There's a dozen different ones on the market. I prefer House, H O W E S. It's just a brand that I'm familiar with. And I ran it in minus 30 straight biofuel with the fuel conditioner okay. with no ill effects. So have you have you made this fuel with hydrogenated <laughs> oils and used it yes. successfully? Yes. And in the winter months? Well, I haven't done it in the winter yet, but I've just started using that oil. Okay. But it's working fine now. Does it show any difference in consistency and no. any sign that it would behave differently? No. Okay. Interesting. 